gone in the last five years? I think uh, last five year was uh, very excited, and uh, we could see a lot of growth in our company. Uh, from one city, we have grown to 15 cities, and uh, from I think about four to five projects, what we were having in hand, uh, we have <coughs> about 30 to 40 projects spread across India, and uh, this is the growth uh, what we have seen. The turnover side. <coughs> The turnover was uh, about five years before, it was just nearly two to three crore rupees, which has eventually grown today to almost 350 crores, which has uh, we achieved over the last year. What are the unique strengths of your company? I think uh, most important is the when the customer buy flat uh, with Mantri DLT, uh, he is assured of his uh, commitment, quality and uh, after sales service, I think uh, that's the most important strength what uh, a customer find itself when he buy a property with our company. Uh, what would you like to say about Mantri brand? I think uh, as uh, you might be aware that uh, the Mantri is a phenomenon and known name uh, in the reality sector. We are almost developing number of the properties across the India and uh, almost completed more than uh, about close to 15,000 tenements in country and successfully handed over to the retail customer. Not many developers have this track record where they have successfully built, completed and handed over and most of the buying properties are conveyed in favor of the society. Even that itself is a rare thing which many of the developers are till today not following. Uh, so what I feel, uh, Mantri has a trust of confidence, people feel comfortable when they buy the property, they feel that they are not going to be cheated, they are not going to be asked or demanded more price if the prices of the material also goes up, is the added advantage to Mantri reality. What, what is the size of land bank you have? Uh, currently we hold approximately 2,500 acre uh, land bank spread across India and uh, I think uh, most of these properties are urban properties and converted properties. We don't have much uh, agricultural land holding, so that is a great advantage or uh, a strength in our favor. In which major city Sunil Mantri reality has its presence? Uh, see, basically my company is a headquarters in Mumbai. Uh, we have spread across 15 cities uh, in India. On the northern region we have Gwalior and Delhi. Uh, then if you see western area we have Mumbai then Pune, then Kalyan, uh, Kolhapur, Solapur, Sangli, uh, these are the various centers and Thana. So these are the various centers in the western region. Uh, then Goa also we are some property holdings which uh, we are trying to develop for hospitality sector. Then if you go further down we have properties in Hyderabad and uh, if you further move down on uh, the southern direction we have in Bangalore large number of the properties uh, is a company's uh, land bank today which is spread in these cities. Uh, what is the bifurcation of commercial and residential properties you are building? We have almost uh, close to 60% uh, ratio as in uh, residential, uh, almost 20-25% uh, for IT park, IT SEZs and uh, about uh, close to 5-10% to for the retail and about 5% for hospitality is a spread over in the company's land asset. Uh, what is the status of SEZ? Uh, our company is planning to uh, build about four SEZs. Out of that, one SEZ at Nagpur, which is the first one IT SEZ, exclusive IT SEZ in Nagpur, has already commenced its activities and uh, we already started uh, the construction activities over there and uh, we hope that uh, that should be over within a year's time from today. And uh, this is the first SEZ project which we have done. Now we have three more in pipeline, one is in Hyderabad, one is coming up in Sholapur and uh, one more coming up in Gwalior. So these are four SEZ projects which are spread across India and uh, Pune one more under negotiation. So eventually we will have five SEZ projects which will be focusing for IT and IT related uh, activities in our uh, country. Uh, what would you like to say about the quality standards? Uh, my company has uh, always uh, believed in quality and uh, we try to give the best quality to the customer uh, 
probably that is our uh, endeavor and uh, so most of these customer come with reputation uh, currently our company has iso 9001 iso 14001 and both are being uh, well respected by the consumers and uh, we try to follow uh, the best quality to be given to the customer we try to follow the safety and standard uh, uh, i think some procedures which are normally expected to be followed by any developer on site i think those gives uh, uh, well respect in the quality and standard uh, among our competitors uh, how how your company has been uh, recognized by any awards or prizes I think we have many awards. Uh, recently, we got uh, one award from Accommodation Bank for IT service provider. I think a couple of days before uh, such similar award. I think uh, we have large number of awards which we receive from uh, our well-wishers, NGOs, and uh, various uh, institutions. And uh, I think we are honored and lucky that uh, large number of the awards always, some or other way, we keep on getting it. Uh, do we have any tie-ups or collaborations? Uh, as far as uh, the construction technologies are concerned, we are planning to look ahead uh, some innovative ideas and some technology collaborations. As far as our projects are concerned, where private equity participation, we have some of the private equity players who have been associated with us. They are partnering in some of our projects uh, located within the company. There are some investors who are uh, on the companies or the entity level, they are also with us and uh, that has given a strength, uh, more, uh, I think, uh, more good references and uh, more strong base for us to grow further. Uh, which are the major landmarks you, you feel proud of? I think each city we have created different uh, masterpiece, uh, but I think to name few of them, the Bombay currently we are working one project at Goregaon, uh, which is close to about 900 flats. I think that could become a landmark because within the shortest possible time we are trying to deliver the product is uh, achievement or advantage uh, to the customers from uh, our side. Uh, similar way, various cities, various places we have created different landmarks. Uh, for example, uh, take a small city like Sholapur where we created the first uh, on public-private partnership or BOT basis. First circuit house uh, which is normally built by other than the government agency and it was appreciated by all of uh, everyone I think all of the chief minister Sri Sushil Kumar Ji, Shinde Ji, then uh, Vilasrao Ji Deshmukh Saab and uh, the number of the ministers visited and they appreciated uh, this kind of the construction work and it has become really a role model for others to follow. So I think these are the various landmark what our company has created at various places. Uh, what are the challenges you feel? Uh, challenges are too many. I think uh, today the customer's expectations have gone up. Second, you have to give him the competitive price and uh, the best of the best product. Third, the land is becoming very, very expensive and uh, that is actually uh, killing the all calculations uh, because uh, uh, ultimately uh, in the sale price, land becomes a major component about I think 50, 60 or up to 80 percent uh, volumes or the property prices or the same price of a flat contains the land price. So this is a major challenge. One more threat one has to be prepared. There would be a competition from foreigners. It's one way good, one way difficult because Indian developers have to grow to this model. Uh, probably uh, they will teach us how the ready flats can be sold, how the leasing of the flats can be done. So these all challenges uh, I think one has to face uh, while working in the construction sector. Uh, what are the opportunities and triggers for growth? I believe construction industry uh, has uh, immense potential. What is lacking in the construction sector or reality sector today is low cost or budget housing. I think everyone is trying to focus for high end housing or expensive housing and this sector is getting completely neglected. There are no much initiatives from the government wherein they would like to encourage developers to construct more and more number of houses. Mahara agencies or the government agencies has their role has slowed down over the last one decade so that eventually what is happening, uh, you are getting less number of houses built for lower income group or middle income group. So I feel if one focus to this area 
I think it has an immense opportunity and huge market. So, if you are able to build a product which is close to around 20 lakh rupees, uh, something around 20 lakh rupees, uh, ideally 15, but uh, at the most 20 in the metros, I think it will sell like a hot cake. Uh, should not be a problem. With 20 lakh, 90% uh, banks will be willing to fund, say 18 lakhs they will fund. About 2 lakh, one has to invest his own contribution over the stages. I think it is going to make the wonders in the market. What are your future plans? Uh, currently, we have 15 cities presence. We are planning to expand up to 22 cities uh, by the next year and planning to set up uh, some of uh, our construction milestone across the uh, India uh, Indian market and trying to grow in uh, two or other uh, three nations where wherever we can get a good opportunity. And uh, I feel the company should uh, achieve try to achieve a thousand crore turnover company in coming one to one and a half years time. I think is the major my wish or this could be the wish list for me and for my company. And when are you planning your IPO? Uh, not uh, really a thought so far. Uh, one has to see because uh, market sentiments are different today but uh, probably one has to take a call. Uh, so far we are going with uh, private equity deals only and uh, we will take a call at uh, appropriate time on this. Anything else you would like to add? I think uh, what uh, I could see, the construction industry is going through a huge changes. Uh, the product quality has been improved substantially by each and every developer across the country. The retail is coming up in a big way, which has immense potential. The IT has come up in a big way, either SEZ or IT Park or whatever it is. It has come up in big way and really made the wonders uh, for the city, lifestyle, uh, salary structure and so on. I feel uh, if the government focus more on the infrastructure, I think the reality sector should have another 10 years time to work continuously in the upward direction. Uh, no worry, uh, we can go at a lesser pace than the China. I feel we are equally competent. We have a good command on the language, which is English, which is internationally uh, workable, uh, should uh, work well. Uh, I think these are the few factors which I would like to advise to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.